Yeah, well, I've been in bed all day. I'm cutting smoking, so just sleeping through the days to try and get through it. I'm just tidying up at the moment. An NHS equality boss has wrote a blog titled Dear White People in a disgusting display of racism, prompting the calls for his sacking. The overpaid NHS equality boss has written a blog suggesting white people should act in certain ways. Overpaid NHS staff have recently been complaining about being underpaid, whilst the general public remember letting NHS staff pass them in queues during lockdown. NHS staff took to the streets to call on the government to raise their wages. Whilst millions of non-key worker lives were ruined, these so-called key workers couldn't even care enough to let the public leave their homes. The NHS famously fails so much that its failure, failure demands more public funding. Whilst killing innocent lives with long waiting lists and monopolising healthcare for profit, the NHS's days are numbered. People will not stand for this anymore. Now this NHS equality boss seems to think he can fight racism with racism. Mum's fury as police called after children choke hopscotch game on payment. Sailors have been creeped out after finding an animal with body of a shark and face of a pig. And Catherine Prescott, who starred as Katie Finch on Skins, has been left with life-changing injuries after being hit by a cement truck. Yeah, I, I am actually. I'm going to try and make a thing of it, because have you seen Whiskey Romeo said he's, he's away indefinitely? Well, yeah, well, part of that, I couldn't even understand what I was saying. My tongue got so tied up. That's why I'm qu I'm quitting smoking because I can hear my voice. It just sounds terrible. So that's why I'm trying to quit smoking. The card's not turned up yet. No, it won't be yet. But I think we should have atomic assembling printers in every house. So only thing we ever need to buy is printer ink. If you want a sandwich, print it out. If you want a a, a dustpan and brush, print it out. I don't know what's happening lately, but I mean, that noise is coming from. Oh, I know it's calmed down already. Early on, I don't know what was going on, but it sounds like there was some sort of uh, nasty party going on or something. Oh, you can hear it a bit. Normal. Just turn the wings against us. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard it in the thing because I read it quite badly. Um, police were called over children choking a hot scotch on the pavement. And the other thing was a, a, a fish had a pig's head for something. Found a new type of fish with a pig head, a shark body, and a pig head. Yeah, meanwhile, plastering. Make sure you can't breathe with you put fabric over your mouth. Make sure you have fabric up, put plaster that everywhere. Make sure you don't go near anyone. I mean, it's an extinction on the way, I think. I, I say exempt. I exempt you from your sin of telling me what to do. Not in church. Church is still doing it. Quite sad about Katie Finch being hit by a truck. Hope she's okay. She's a twin. She's one of the twins in Skins. The Channel 4 series. She's really pretty, quite young. Um, Russell Brand is always talking out about freedoms and stuff, but you've got to be double jab to go see him live. Another thing that was announced. And also the new driving license. Um, com people are complaining the new driving license has been issued that doesn't say EU on it because the old one say had the European Union flag with the UK inside um, the new ones have the home address and everything listed on it date of birth and everything oh yeah the Prince Andrew thing as well apparently he's been served papers 
but um, he's not recognising them. He says he he doesn't recognise America. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson praises America, which he hailed as the most greatest democracy nation on earth. But yeah, also it's a sticky spot because she was 17 when she claims that he had sex with her and she's American and it's different age laws in it so I'm about to sign the sex offenders register as a paedophile yeah I think it's just a well I don't have an opinion actually about it because it's not gone through court but it's probably not going to go through court either is it but if it was anyone else then yeah they would definitely be they haven't got big fences around the houses police forces treat them as if they're um, above the law Prince Harry is the best royal. Yeah, I, I really, I think he's brilliant, Prince Harry. I like um, him. Yeah, I like him. I think he's good. Yeah, well, imagine with with the royalty, it sort of sets the president of our sort of um, males. Find it really difficult to be at the submission of another male. It's a lot easier to have our queen reign over us. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot easier to turn a blind eye and say, oh, she's she's a nice old lady. It'd be very different when it's a man in charge. The, the riots will be much more aggressive. Yeah, but the symbolism of the hierarchy that exists of solid lays that really d disintegrates society, doesn't it, really? It's not true that she's a queen because we don't she doesn't give birth to every child you know what I mean when there's a queen in a colony queen ants they're, they're the mother of all the ants they're actually doing a thing they actually are a queen we don't actually have queens in humanity I have a friend on Facebook and um, over the past few days I've, she's a really nice girl and but for the past few days I've noticed that she's been posted she posted something like if you've not had a vaccine then don't come near me and I, I expect you to wear a mask and all this sort of stuff. And she was saying that like, people who don't have vaccines don't don't class me as a friend. And um, just found out that a friend has died. So I was wondering why that had occurred. But yeah, it looks like a friend had died. She said a friend was on a ventilator and um, yeah, basically gone. Now she's trying to raise five grand to cremate him. I mean, five grand to cremate somebody? What? Five grand? That's making profit. Look at funeral services are loving it. Yeah, but I honestly don't care what happens to me after I die. I have no funeral wishes or all that. Ch chuck me in a ditch. Not really. I think I'm an organ donor anyway, so let me mould in the mouldy in it just yeah i'm not again i'm i'm not i mean i'm not yeah i, I disagree with cremation it's not conservative it's like if you was put in the floor you potentially become fossil fuels down the line during the lockdown i was the guy that was recording the funerals and you know spending all day booing my eyes out on editing window on our movie putting Funerals on YouTube. Oh, Mariah was sending me some heavy bass, so um, I'm a bit in the history. Yeah, Vanessa, yeah, I think you're a, a star of the channel. I think the place won't be the same without you. Uh, a, a screen name's Katie Finch. Uh, real name's Catherine Prescott. Uh, the headline I saw was Catherine Prescott, who starred as Katie Finch on skins has been left with life-changing injuries after being hit by a cement truck. Prescott. Yeah, there's two of her. She's got an identical twin. Yeah, it looks like it happened in New York. Um, it says that she's out of danger, but she is alone, critically ill in hospital. She's lucky to be alive, badly injured. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I can find. Yeah, I was saying Finch, sorry. Yeah, Fitch. Yeah, good night. Yeah, I'm usually awake until I, you do um, the weather in the morning. 
cocaine worth 160 million has been found on a yacht off the coast of Plymouth. The Ministry of Defence has been alerted that the UK is in the line of fire after Elon Musk Starlink satellite hurls towards Earth. Young boys aged 12 to 15 are more at risk of vaccine related myocarditis caused by the Pfizer vaccine than of Covid. Boris has urged the UK to, in quote, get on with vaccinating teens, end quote. The Sun reports kids may only get one Covid jab due to very rare heart risk, my, your, carditis. Green sludge has taken over a lake in Bradford. A tablet in an Istanbul museum found Babylonians used Pythagoras theory 1,000 years before he was born. Jeremy Corbyn was hurled abuse in the streets of London after journalists and the public followed him and shouted things such as, have you had any good Freemason handshakes recently? Your brother is around the corner. And are you still supporting the IRA amongst other more expletives? A Pentagon video of a Tic Tac shaped UFO taking off has emerged. The flying object apparently left no heat signature and had no explanation of how its propulsion works. The military confirmed the UFO was not theirs. The Mars rover has taken new rock samples. Moon landing skeptics are gaining the following after conspiracy theories claim the famous landing video was produced in a studio on Earth and directed by Stanley Kubrick. Some people say Stanley was so dedicated he wanted to film the moon landing on the actual location. A complete pointlessness to work has been blamed for fueling the labour crisis in the UK with many people not only worse off if they get jobs but also becoming a contributor to global warming and another cog in a capitalist machine. Earth has another magnetic field cycle that has major effects. A man has stabbed a woman in a supermarket with a syringe filled with his semen. Britons who work but are entitled to personal independence payment because of a mental health condition or disability are being reminded that they could get up to £4,610 a year extra if their disability is severe. PIP is given to people if they have a condition that affects their everyday life, whether they work or not, and can make a huge difference to their financial situation. UK daily COVID cases fall by 21% in a week to 29,547, but deaths jumped by 30% to 156. More than 116,000 NHS workers have not had a first dose of the COVID vaccine. 13 gorillas have tested positive for COVID at, at Atlanta Zoo. UK tsunami warning as Greenland landslides threatens disaster. Jeff Benzos is on a search for eternal life. Whilst back on Earth, we search for Amazon's taxes. Boris is expected to speak next week about how COVID-19 will be managed over the autumn and winter months. End of PCR travel tests. Double jab travellers will no longer have to take expensive COVID tests when returning to Britain. The post office will create a way for people to buy Bitcoin next week. High blood pressure, the purple drink shown to lower hypertension six hours after intake. A baby girl aged one has starved to death whilst her team mother parties. A Wallace and Gromit bronze sculpture has been unveiled in Preston. Some new top irregular words and phrases from across the LOR. Blue light, most complete guide to demonstrations, bad for the environment. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, calculating close encounters based on true events. And some top words and phrases from this channel over the past few days do with the frame rate of the camera Collins bird guide the most complete guide to Britain and Europe school snaps as schools reopen schools reopen a bit of paper frame rate on the camera the color purple end of the day you know what I mean you know what I mean was said four times over the past few days at the end of the said four times I was going to say it was said four times 
If that's the case, we've said three times. Up, left, right and centre was said twice. Stuck in the Suez Canal was said twice. Channels and stuff like that. Bad for the environment was said twice. Probably correct. All this time, get the money. Juliet Alpha India Delta, keeping up on the network. So six pounds radio link. I said six times. Speak to you later. I said four times. For the same reason, I said three times. By the way, the period is f from the last time this was done. Dr. Jessica Taylor, points on your license, external, nothing else, football, Nick Ferrari. Let's go down, down, push to talk, a lot of lightning, name and address, rugby match. Why cross zoo in Leicestershire? Learning the direction of Earth. All received mobile phone, touch the screen, pick the kids up. I can imagine, said twice. Let's go down. Pretty simple. I don't know was said 97 times. A lot of was said 48 times. Be able to was said 24 times. Going to be was said 21 times. I want to was said 20 times. A bit of 19 times. At the moment 19 times. In the morning 14 times. To make sure 9 times. I can't remember. Eight times. So six times radio. Six times in the background. When it comes five times, I didn't have five times. Okay, let's go right down, right down, right down. The was said 2,316 times, 4.6% of the time. Two was said 1,279 times, 2.5% of the time, and I was said 1,206 times, 2.4% of the time. Some rarer words. Arguments were said once, drummer was said once, skinless was said once, aura was said once, 1,000 pounds was said once. I'll do some more that was said once. Palace, leaders, auditors, 3,500, drowned, rumours, battle, river, register, spit, younger, navigate, trade, traded, clubs, publishers, fascinating, whisperers, one, uh, 12,000, sorry, thrashing, reputation, according, master, lawnmower, medicals, despite, terra nova, smartwatch, trade winds, spiritual, youtuber, Madrid, Tall block, all is one word by the way. A sim connect, all is one word. Ring neck, all is one word. Uninterested, visible. So, lele. Scales, pouring, running, runners, sorry. Pasteable, Epson. Hexagonic, budding, justification, war games, exhausted. Farm foods. Eternal. Talky titles, blinding perfectly principal items, distressful analog tellies, considering applied hard and surgery rejoice nowadays, assets, sits, seeing queens, blues, curving, sing, fancied sims, squeezing blades, doom, bunch, Morocco, auto respectful, John, majority, sick, science, ultra violent, math, astonishing cloth, temporary episodes. And much, much more. You can um, um, there's a lot more basically, a lot of been going on, and some new people 
across the Zello. Names are Eric, Erwin, Eugene, Mick, Alfred, Alistair, Cleopatra, Todd, Abdullah, Cyrus, Bart, Hazel, Halesley, and uh, Delta Echo Echo Papa. Some local news here. It looks like um, across the road there's a young man that is regularly knocking up his nan late at night, knocking on her door. And um, his nan knew, was, this is the second time now I've seen the police have been called on him. I don't know if his nan called the police, but the police are here anyway. And um, the police were speaking to the nan at the door. They weren't letting the boy in. And um, the boys walked in when the doors opened with the police there. And it looks like he's picked up a key and um, walked out. And now they've all got torches. Boys in the back of the police van. They're all searching all over the street for the key. An Afghan refugee's tweet about his free cooked breakfast meal, which was two boiled eggs, hash browns, an apple and bread has gone viral. As well as providing Afghans who were traitors to their country, transportation, permanent housing, medical screening and general support, governments are providing a bed and breakfast to these tech savvy tweeters and another meal 12 hours later. The Afghan refugee, whose name is Hamid, which is one of several names for brown people, said it's not easy or favourable being a refugee and tweeted a follow-up photo of his free cup chicken and fruit in an attempt to shame the goodwill of charity. Frequency mode. Never forget the dozens of bloody crying firemen who screamed about the bombs in the towers and the lobby before and after the planes hit. Never forget the $2.3 trillion that was reported missing by Donald Rumsfeld the day before 9-11. Never forget that the controller in charge of the Pentagon's budget was Doc Zakim, who lost the $2.3 trillion by doing poor bookkeeping. He lost $1.5 billion per day for five years. Never forget that Doc Zakim was also the CEO of System Planning Corporation in 2001, which manufactures flight termination systems for commercial airlines so they can be remotely controlled by computers. Never forget that the day after Rumsfeld mentioned missing $2.3 trillion, a plane impacted the Office of Naval Intelligence at the Pentagon where the computers were kept, which stored that information. Over 100 budget analysts and accountants were killed and the money trail was lost. Never forget that Larry Silverstein bought the entire World Trade Center lease in 2000 for $15 million bid, even though he was lower than the other bidders. Never forget that Larry Silverstein put a $3.5 billion insurance policy on the towers against terrorist attacks in June 2001. Then three months later, both towers get hit by aircraft. Never forget that Larry Silverstein sued his insurers over 40 companies to get paid double his limit since each plane constitutes a separate attack. And never forget that Larry made $4.5 billion so far off an initial investment of $15 million. Never forget that scientists and physicists at BYU found a type of explosive in every dust sample which was confirmed to be a type of fermite. Fermat produces liquid iron and is used to cut thick columns effectively and quickly. Never forget that World Trade Center 7 fell at 5.20 p.m. on 9-11 and the news tried to cover it up. Never forget that the BBC, Fox News and CNN reporters all misread scripts live on TV which announced World Trade Center 7 collapsing hours before it did, indicating a pre-written narrative. Never forget that World Trade 7... World Trade Center 7 was 47 stories tall, yet NIST said that it collapsed at free fall acceleration for 2.25 seconds. Never forget high school physics and the definition of static equilibrium and conservation of momentum, which would make it impossible for any structure to collapse at free fall acceleration. Never forget the US government was warned over 50 times about by at least 12 countries of an imminent attack 
by terrorists, which were all ignored. Never forget that when Bush and Cheney met with 9-11 Commission, they did so only on their own terms. They appeared together, they were not under oath, no press or family members were allowed to attend, no recording of any kind was allowed. Never forget that NORAD was running two drills on 9-11, Vigilant Guardian and Vigilant Warrior. Never forget that these drills scrambled jets all over the country and over the ocean and made it impossible for the pilot to intercept the hijacked jets in time once they were scrambled towards the hijackings. Never forget NORAD interceptions on 9-11 took 18 minutes to scramble, too late to do anything. The average time is 10 minutes. Never forget that in 2000 NORAD had 67 intercepts with 100% accuracy. On 9-11, they failed four times in one day. Never forget that molten metal was found at ground zero weeks after the towers collapsed and was also found under World Trade Center 7. And never forget that kerosene and office furniture doesn't burn hot enough to face change steel from solid to liquid. It was never mentioned in official reports. Never forget that a van was pulled over trying to leave New York City and contained illegal explosives and very suspicious occupants from Israel who were detained for 71 days and then this story disappeared. Never forget that no video has ever been released showing a plane hitting the Pentagon despite having 85 external cameras that could have captured the footage. Never forget that eyewitnesses and first responders at the Pentagon reported no plane wreckage. Never forget that 80 surveillance and CCTV videos from local businesses were gathered by FBI agents within 15 minutes of the crash. That footage has never been released. Never forget the terrorist passports that were miraculously found untouched amongst the rubble. Never forget that at least seven of the 19 hijackers are still alive and the FBI has still not updated its list. At least five are listed as connected to US military institutions. Never forget that I witnesses and first responders reported no plane wreckage or bodies in the Pennsylvania field where Flight 93 supposedly crashed. Never forget that since that day over 30 professional pilots have tried to recreate the alleged path the plane took before striking the Pentagon in a flight simulator all have failed. Never forget the thousands of lives lost that day and the tens of thousands since murdered by a small handful of people for money and power. It is, Mariah. I'm glad that you said that, because, um, yeah, uh, I won't show to read it. There's a friend on Facebook called Alicia. Suitable for the 12th, I think. Uh, speaking of Sunday, let's try and speak like the Christians are lately. You guys, it's the mark of the beast. If you got the mark of the beast, then you've, you've aligned yourself with the devil. You know, it's the agenda. The mark of the beast, the days are numbered. The real line in your DNA is number 666. Have you heard this stuff? Well, I think it, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, a thing now, I think. Yeah, we're hearing it everywhere. So what I was talking about yesterday, the post-vaccine paranoia caused by various things. News stories aren't getting clicks about um, side effects fading in three days, so they're concentrating on the long-term side effects now. don't think either way we're going to win. Very apparent that we're all going to die, I think. They can easily say that, can't they? All the vaccinated are going to die. An absolute truth verified by Wikipedia. See the citation. Yeah, the difference is that um, the paranoia of post, like before the vaccine, I mean, um, it's sort of like you can always think, oh, at least I can get the vaccine. Do you know what I mean? At least I can maybe one day just go get a jab. But once you've got the jab, you can't say, oh, at least I can go and get not the jab. Do you know what I mean? Yo, it's a few millilitres. I think I can take it, yo. Serious. Mark of the Beast show. I'm saying scorn me, mate, to be honest. Very much aligned with demons. Loving it. I'm just about to curl up into a ball and cry myself to sleep. Oh, I forgot. 
what my next one was. Let me do it anyway. I want to be a journalist, if you haven't noticed. Morrison's has been accused of taking a dangerous and retrograde step after it cut sick pay for unvaccinated staff in an effort to encourage jab uptake. Fox News have released leaked Google documents that they describe as a disturbing racial re-education program. Meanwhile, Julian Assange still sits in prison. Cristiano Ronaldo's Manchester United homecoming was disrupted by feminist protesters flying a banner reading, Believe Catherine Mayorga over Old Trafford amid ongoing legal case regarding rape allegations. Greek authorities have introduced measures to crack down on a fake vaccination certificates after a worker at a vaccination centre allegedly provided more than 40 people with false documents. Bare knuckle boxer Houston Alexander leaves fans outraged after punching his already unconscious rival. Murder inquiry launched as man in his 30s stabbed in Newham. Plans to delay the lowering of emissions by 2050 have been described by The Guardian as deadly procrastination. The Sun reports that doctors have warned women who wake up in the night are twice as likely to die young. Biden risks causing civil unrest over Northern Ireland protocol warns Lord Trimble. The Nobel Laureate has written a strongly worded letter to the current US President. That's my sentence splitter. It's a bow thing. I'm pressing the hash key. I think it does a function as well. I don't know what it actually does. Frequency mode. I have scoured though the internet. I'm saving the best for the last. I've got um, good news to catch up on. I'm excited about the good news. And an all category of good news coming later on today. Good news will be later today. I've, I've just um, gonna get some sleep and stuff. There's a, it, I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Just um, I'll just have a look and see what it is. And yeah, football night. Not yet, but this is my normal go to bed time. I'll be probably going to bed in the next fifteen minutes. Sorry, guys. I've just had to leave the cons. I just had to drop my phone and end up losing my well, not losing it, but just chucking my phone because I looked out my window, the girl, woman across the road was on the floor. I don't know what happened prior to me going to the window, but the elderly woman was on the floor and then the boy from earlier that was arrested walked over. She was sort of getting up. He grabbed hold of her head and started pushing his thumbs into either her eyes or her forehead or her temples or something. So I ran downstairs, realised I'd not got my front door key, ran back upstairs chucked to my phone, ran back downstairs, grabbed crowbar, and um, he's gone. But yeah, he's very lucky that he's gone because I would have, I don't know what I would have done, but I don't know what is going on across the road. That was disgusting what I just saw. But you will not be forgiven for that. I saw that with my own eyes. I can't believe what he's just done. If that's his real man, even if it's not his man, don't have a clue what he's going through his head, but that's not right. What's, I don't know where she is, she looks like she's gone back in her house. In the time where I ran downstairs, I ran back upstairs, he's disappeared. I saw him walking away, just as I was getting back downstairs. So, don't know what happened prior, but I think he's knocked her over because the phone was at one place and um, yeah, I don't know if she's been drinking as well, but he didn't act like any man should then. I hope, I hope the police have been called. I can hear sirens now. The yeah, police are here. Thank God. Yeah, we'll do. Um, he's a he's her grandson. Looks like another neighbour speaking to him as well now. Yeah, well, I knew he was lying last night about the key. The police have put that woman in danger because the police came last night and um, whilst the police were at the door, she was explaining, I don't want him in my house. And he walked in past the police, stole her key, 
and then reckoned on that he took it outside and lost it. So they were out in the street all night looking for the key with torches. And it looks like he's just gone back. I don't even think he, he is his uh, grandson. I don't know. He might just be a crazy person. I'm back in a sec anyway, my heart is beating like crazy. Yeah, the lady's all right. I didn't they, I think they've either got him or getting him though, because they've talked to the other neighbour and the woman and they've drove off. Yeah, I'm going to. Holy Lord, that was well, probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Don't know what is going on. And he's changed his name to um, a Wayne, definitely. Um, but, and I know he was uh, announcing earlier this year that he was um, finishing the COVID-19 channel in September, I think he was saying. So yeah, he might be. I, I imagine he's probably gone to one of the darker ends of Zello to reform it. Yeah, um, I'm now pronouncing it C-O-V-I-D-19. That is apparently the correct pronunciation of it. Yeah, I hope you're okay. Yeah, I am doing. I'm going to bed in a second. So, night uh, night, I hope you have a good day. I'll speak to you later today. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a, a suspicion, but Alec Sharma, who I suspect is the identity. Colonel Edwards, I think. I think Colonel Edwards is a judge or something. A judge or a politician or something. I think he's possibly Alec Sharma. That's just a, a, a fleeting thought, though. I think the first time I talked to Miss K, I said, Mum, is that you? <laughs> oh, no, I just listened to a sample of Alec Sharma's voice. It's not, not, not like Colonel Edwards' voice. I don't think he would have left the app. I think he's probably concentrating his time on even more needy people. You know what I mean? Think of all the positive energy he's brought here. And then some of the channels on Zello are really desolate places and need people like Whiskey Romeo. I think he's probably gone there. And yeah, the vaccine mandate, I think it's crazy. I think it's going to, I don't know, I think Biden's all right, but just doesn't seem like a good idea. Same as here in, in England, 116,000 NHS workers haven't had a single dose. That goes to show how much they believe in it. I am, um, yeah, just nosying at what's going on in the street. Oh, Jesus, yeah, well, from, well, October, November, you know, it gets really crazy especially Halloween and bonfire and that. And yeah, it looks like they're um, changing the locks on the lady across the road store. The NHS is hiring 42 chief executives on salaries up to £270,000, raising concerns over how the new health and social care tax is being spent. The 42 NHS employees will be raking in around £11 million per year the equivalent of a universal credit claimant's payments if they lived for 1,100 years. Or in real terms, 42 people have been paid the equivalent of 1,100 other people. It asks the question, if we paid them other people that money instead of the NHS chiefs, would they be out of a job? Because it seems to correlate wealth and health What's going on with the neighbourhood series, like 11 o'clock, 10 decibels is the goes I always obey by it, but no, there's a, someone spray painted blacks, black day, something like that, there's just loads of, um, well, the brown, not black, doing the, oh my god, oh, yeah, middle at night, I mean, no musical talent whatsoever, don't know what they're doing. Sick to death of it. Plans for COVID vaccine passports have been scrapped in England. 
Covid deaths soar by 25% prompting fears of an October lockdown. An Afghan Special Forces commando has been arrested by armed police at a Manchester hotel. A judge has killed himself moments before his arrest over hidden bathroom camera accusations. Britain may bake as a tropical storm could spark warm September. A three decade old floating head sculpture has been revived in Glasgow. Families on universal credit may have to choose between food or fuel after benefits cut. A hospital lift has been opened for the first time in 24 years, revealing a mysterious skeleton trapped inside. Increasing numbers of Britons are abandoning the NHS and paying for their medical treatment. Slender man follower is to go free after near fatal stabbing a friend. A couple has been filmed abusing staff after being kicked off plane for refusing to wear face masks. A dad who died in a motorcycle crash has, was being chased and in court may have been murdered. A driver going the wrong way down a road has killed a three month old baby girl in her stroller. A cyclist in London has been attacked in broad daylight by two naked men in a bizarre accident. Shadow Health Secretary Jonathan Ashworth has told Sky Tre Sky's Trevor Phillips on Sunday that Labour has huge concerns about how the government's Coronavirus Act had been misused by the authorities and that his party will study the detail of any proposed changes. Mr Ashworth said there's been huge concerns about the way in which the COVID Act has been misused by the authorities and ridiculous fines have been imposed on people sitting on a park bench. Obviously, we will want to study the detail. He also added that the increase to national insurance will not deliver the health and social care that is needed. Trump has criticised Biden's withdrawal from Afghanistan, saying, why wouldn't you just fly the helicopters out and reiterates that the election was rigged. Joe Biden appeared to get lost when returning to the White House as he ignored his Secret Service agents' instructions by walking on the lawn. COVID-19 UK booster jabs are set for go-ahead next week, but vaccine creator says not everyone needs it. The Pope said, while sat on his gold throne, that people must do more to help the poor. And Habital X, or Planet, may have already received our radio signals and may know we're here. Now, good news. Indiana boys hop off their bikes to stand for attention stand attention for military funeral happening on their route. Hiker reaches top of summit and has the most beautiful encounter with mountain goats. Need more self-confidence? Researchers have suggested four simple steps to overcome our negativity bias. The world's biggest sky factory to suck carbon from the sky and store it for millions of years turns on in Ireland. Bank that lost 66 workers on 9-11 has paid for all their kids to go to college. Workers discover a stash of 239 rare gold coins hidden in the walls of French mansion. The new Orleans leaves held passing their first major test since Hurricane Katrina. Curious whales nudge paddle border in Argentina. Thailand is making COVID-19 protective gear from upcycled bottles. Malawi inventor lights up his whole village basically for free, starting with a bicycle and a river. Reforestation of English Midlands turns 30 year old to 30 years old with 9 million trees planted across 200 square miles. Near complete petirosaur skeleton obtained in police raid reveals stunning details about the species. An epic Adventure few have heard of, the Great Loop circles from eastern US on waterways never far from shore. Science back tips for maximising playtime with kids. How meditation can help you make fewer mistakes. Tiny home a village in Albuquerque helps homeless transition with social services and opportunities. Firefighters finally reach death dog trapped in storm drain after 10 hours of trying. 100 year old grandma sets Guinness world record as a power lifter. 8 in 10 Americans have taken steps to improve their health since the pandemic. China bans writing written exams for six year olds to reform the hyper 
competitive pressure in schools. Adorable footage shows family of ducks being ushered out of library after they waddled in off the street. Dogs know when you're acting intentionally, researchers find. When walked on these wooden floors, harvest enough energy to turn on a light bulb. A sorcerer's toolkit has been discovered in the ashes of Pompeii. New cancer treatments may be on the horizon thanks to success in mRNA vaccine trial. A certain kind of smiling can repair relationships that have been damaged by mistrust. Boat plane hybrid that needs no runway could transform travel from LA to San Diego, Boston to New York. Plummer has landed record deal after music mogul heard him singing while he fitted his bathroom. Poets in Europe are writing tributes for the lonely funerals of society's unclaimed citizens. Four tuna species recovered after decades of fishing. French beekeeper invents a trap to take on Asian hornets, decimating bee populations in Europe. Women delivered compliment jars anonymously to dozens of friends. In hurricane-stricken New Orleans, a solar microgrid kept the lights on in this apartment building for low-income vets. A four-year-old learns piano in lockdown and wins elite competition. Clever cockatoos craft three-piece tool set to extract fruit, becoming only fourth animal species to do so. 11-year-old drummer Nandi Bushell finally joins Foo Fighters on stage. Neighbours secretly plan a, ho a hokey pokey birthday flash mob for 93-year-old superfan. Barnacle glue inspired MIT scientists to make a paste that can stop heavy bleeding in seconds. Cold planets exist throughout the galaxy. Watch, sorry, is your, no, uh, we'll end it there. Not much good news. Oh, good Samaritans rescue 60 cows from Hurricane Ida. Judge throws out Trump era rule that allowed filling streams, marshes and wetlands for development. Archaeologists in Egypt discover mummy with gold tongue. First Galapagos study of pink iguanas reveal new details. Quick thinking teen rushes to save people trapped in burning building. Irrigation system talks to plants to find out when they need water, cutting water use by 30 to 50 percent. Nightclubs in Scotland will capture energy from dancers to power the venue. Dog is given her own billboard so she might finally get adopted and leave the shelter after two years. Nutrient rich human waste is posed to sustain agriculture and improve economies. Within good bracelets from Mohammed Ali's daughter and GNN corn or back in it's an advertisement, sorry guys. Houston Ma Mattress, Mac and Lakewood Church open doors to Hurricane Ida refugees. Baking bad ex-cons are mentored as bakers. She lost both her legs in Brussels bombing and is now competing on horseback. Pecan rich diet sure to reduce cholesterol. What can the wise voices of J.R.R. Tolkien, Frodo, Baggins and Gandalf the Grey teach us about the present day. Sorry guys, I don't think that was news either. The restaurant makes special chocolate for blind customer with birthday message in Braille. One year since bipartisan bill funds repairs at national parks. Tens of millions now have power thanks to off-grid solar system. Artist makes the most amazing animal sculptures from trash. Devious dog fakes a coma to avoid toilet duty in the rain. Over half of mums use snack time to show off what cool mums they are. And Afghan mum who gave birth on Air Force C-17 named the baby Reach after the aircraft that rescued them. Good morning.